Deuteronomy, the fifth book of Moses, chapter 19. When the Lord thy God has cut off the nations, whose land the Lord thy God gives thee, and thou succeedst them, and dwells in their cities and in their houses, thou shalt separate three cities for thee in the midst of thy land, which the Lord thy God gives thee to possess it. Thou shalt prepare thee a way, and divide the costs of thy land, which the Lord thy God gives thee to inherit, in two three parts, that every slayer must free thither. And this is the case of the slayer which shall flee hither, that he may live, who so kills his neighbor ignorantly, whom he hated not in time past, as when a man goeth into the wood with his neighbor to heavy wood, and his hand fetches a stock with the axe to cut down the tree, and the head slips from the hill, and lights upon his neighbor that he die, he shall free unto one of those cities, and live. Lest the avenger of the blood pursue the slayer, while his heart is hot, and overtake him, because the way is long, and slay him, whereas he was not worthy of death, inasmuch as he hated him not in time past. Wherefore I command thee, say, Thou shalt separate three cities for thee, and if the Lord thy God enlarge thy coast, as he has sworn unto thy fathers, and give thee all the land which he promised to give unto thy fathers, if thou shalt keep all these commandments to do them, which I command thee this day, to love the Lord thy God, and to walk ever in his ways, then shalt thou add three cities more for thee, besides these three, that innocent blood be not shed in thy land, which the Lord thy God gives thee for an inheritance, and so blood be upon thee. But if any man hate his neighbor, and lie in wait for him, and rise up against him, and smite him mortally that he die, and freeze into one of these cities. Then the elders of his city shall send and fetch him hence, and deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. Then I shall not pity him, but thou shalt put away the guilt of innocent blood from Israel, that it may go well with thee. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thine inheritance, which thou shalt inherit in the land that the Lord thy God gives thee to possess it. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity, or for any sin, in any sin that he thinks, at the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. If a false witness rise up against any man to testify against him, that which is wrong, then both men, between whom the controversy is, shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and the judges, which shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition, and, behold, if the witness be a false witness, and has testified falsely against his brother, then shall ye do unto him, as he had thought to have done unto his brother. So shalt thou put evil away from among you, and those which remain shall hear, and fear, and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. And thine eye shall not pity, but life shall go for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot.